The monk who meditates and chants under the scorching sun is Yang Yang Shiren. He's the abbot of a nearby temple, or Kenpo in Tibetan Buddhism. Unlike other monks, he's accompanied by a little blue sheep. As an animal under second-class state protection in China, the blue sheep mainly lives among bare rocks and high mountains. It is hailed as spirit on rocks. To find food more easily, the blue sheep lives a collective life and is rarely seen alone. But how did this little sheep come to the Kenpo and become so close to him? Three years ago, a herder collected caterpillar fungi and saw a newborn lamb lying in the mountains, seemingly at its last gasp. Fearing that it could die of cold or be attacked by wolves, the herder brought it down the mountains and sent it to the temple. After the lamb was rescued, the monks took good care of it. During the day, wherever the Kenpo went, it followed him. At night, it snuggled up against the Kenpo on bed. As the blue sheep grew up day by day, its bond with the Kenpo has strengthened. On the pristine Qinghai Tibet Plateau, people believe in animism and that all beings are equal. Other than the orphaned blue sheep, there's several stray dogs that have got acquainted with the monks. In July, wildflowers bloom behind the temple. A pleasant view for others, these beautiful plants are priceless to the Kenpo. Being proficient in Tibetan medicine, the Kenpo offers the herders free medical treatment. In this season, he often takes the blue sheep to collect herbs in the mountains. He's all too familiar with hundreds of local herbs. In a short while, the bag is fully loaded. On the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, the relationship between man and nature has always been a topic of interest. <laughs> Generations of the Tibetan have lived in this special yet fragile snow-covered plateau. Over the long years, local people have formed a unique and simple ecological culture. By revering and cherishing Mother Nature, they live in harmony with everything around. <laughs> 